fraternal greetings to all of you who have gathered here on this auspicious morning as we join the rest of the country to celebrate the independence of our country. Today, we celebrate the 64th Independence Day of our country. It was on this historic day in 1960 that the first Prime Minister of Nigeria, Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, raised our much cherished green white green flag to signify the independence and freedom of Nigeria from British colonial rule. Therefore, Today is an occasion to remember the heroic sacrifice and achievement of our founding fathers and all other brave men and women who participated in one way or the other in the struggle of our freedom and rededicate ourselves to the unity, service, and progress of our nation. The vision of our founding fathers at independence was to build a united, secured nation anchored on the value of brotherhood, democracy, justice, and equality of all people, tribe, and nation. Our leader, past and present have kept on doing their best to keep the country together and advance the progress and well-being of our citizens. However, Nigeria is still total amidst diverse challenges, including widespread human insecurity after 64 years of self-rule. Indeed, the prevailing economic hardship has made life more difficult for most Nigerians. But despite the economic hardship and the social ill, bedeviling our nation and striving its progress, we still have good reason to celebrate and be grateful to God as a nation and people. Having been in office, as governor for a little above one year, I've come to realize as other patriots that the thing that unites us, including our collective hope and aspiration for a better nation, are more than the little differences that tend to divide us. Therefore, it falls on all of us as citizens of this great country to keep faith with our founding leaders by reaffirming our fidelity to the record that we are one indivisible nation under God and pledge ourselves to each other and the cause of freedom, peace, and justice. Let us also commit ourselves to work hard, to work hand in hand with the federal government to tackle the economic, social, and political challenges, including judicial terrorism, nepotism, corruption, and abuse of power that have diminished our democracy, saved our growth, and caused untold hardship to our people. With an unyielding commitment to democracy, the rule of law, good governance, and working together for the common interests, we can overcome all our challenges and prevail over the enemies of progress. It is only through our collective effort that Nigeria can become the greatest black nation, global leader in human civilization that we all want her to be. I further assure you that we will never compromise on our commitment to delivering the dividend of democracy 
and good governance to the citizens of River State. We will complete the Potagod Ring Road, the Equerry Moa Oboebe Mandoni Link Dual Carriage Way, all other ongoing projects as shadow. We will also deliver the Trans Kalawari Road before the end of our first term. Degema, Omok, and the General Hospital at Boni. Work has also started in the new General Hospital Rumibo and the new ultramodern psychiatric hospital also at Rumibo. For efforts in healthcare, manpower development have resulted in the full accreditation of the River State University Teaching Hospital for four special programs, including surgery, plastic reconstruction surgery, urology, radio dialysis, diagnosis, orthopedics, from the West African College of Surgeons. We have also made considerable improvements in the internal revenue generation and set up the River State Investment Promotion Agency to drive the industrialization of the state to create jobs and generate more economic opportunities and revenue for the citizens of the state. Agriculture for food security, job creation and empowerment, and other areas of interest, including transportation, youth skill, blue economy, micro, small, and medium enterprise development will receive serious and dedicated attention going forward. On our path, we assure the federal government and Mr. President of our unalloyed loyalty support from the government and people of River State and reaffirm our commitment to the unity and progress of Nigeria as one indivisible nation. We will continue to support and work with the federal government and the security agencies to advance the security and well-being of our citizens, protect the national economic assets and guarantee the security and smooth operation of local, national, and multinational companies and investments in our state. We further pledge to ensure the safety and security of life and property and guarantee equal social and economic opportunity for all residents of River State. I commend our President for his bold, dynamic, and pragmatic economic reform, which are targeted at correcting the structural deformity of the past and ushering in a new vesta of sustainable economic growth and prosperity to our country. I urge fellow governors to redouble their efforts to fight the surge of insecurity and banditry in the north and pipeline vandalization and oil theft in the Niger Delta region of the country for the ongoing economic reform to bear the needed positive fruits.